I, I'm trying to teach all of you what I know um, and so that you can help other people. So here, here's a tip I'll tell you. The way I learned, the way I learned when I first began is that I was obsessive about um, about studying the herbs, not in a um, not in an intellectual way, but in a way that was practical and could help people. So I would I would go out and help people, and when I didn't know the solution, I would research and learn, and then apply it on myself, and then apply it. That's how I got my knowledge. It's not because anybody can go to herbal school, and anybody can study herbalism. But those who are great are the ones that uh, have compassion for others. And, uh, and uh, there are those who go beyond and above and beyond. They don't think about money. They don't think about uh, money for, uh, for servicing people. Rather, they service for free and get the knowledge and get the experience and get the, the, um, the love from people. And this builds a confidence in you and builds a knowledge in you that cannot be bought or sold or be educated upon. You can go to the best schools. Of the be and I've been to the... The best herbal schools as well, like one of the best is Dominion Herbal College in, in Canada. It's the oldest one. Um, and it doesn't make you a great herbalist. What makes you a great herbalist is compassion for others and a passion for solving problems that seem unsolvable. Okay, I hope that helps you for those who want to be the herbalist or natural healers. And I'll, tell, I'll say it again to you. Healing is simple. It is simple. Yes, it's difficult because of the work you have to put it through. But it's simple in its, in its application. It's fruits and herbs and fasting and therapeutics. That's it. Anybody who complicates, tells you otherwise, is trying to sell you something.